Russia is intensifying Vladimir Putin's war in Ukraine. Ukrainian officials say Russian forces are deliberately targeting civilians in western Ukraine. Other parts of the country are beginning to pick up the pieces, and effort leaders say will cost billions of dollars. Though the war is far from over, some areas are buzzing with the sounds of construction as families return to clean up and revive their war-torn cities. George Thomas brings us the story from Kyiv. As Russia steps up its offensive in the east, Ukraine's government is moving forward with plans to rebuild battle-damaged areas it still holds. All of them suffered large-scale destructions, and this also means the need for colossal funds for the restoration of infrastructure, for the return of medicine and social services, and for the restoration of normal economic life. From hospitals to schools to apartment buildings to churches to shopping malls, the government in Kyiv estimates it will need at least $750 billion to rebuild what the Russians have destroyed. So we understand that it's huge, huge money, but we understand that some of them will be compensated from confiscated Russian assets. These cities on the outskirts of Kyiv, once under Russian occupation, are today slowly coming back to life. This is the city of Borodyanka, which is basically uh, probably about 20 minutes north of uh, Bucha. And um, we've been hearing a lot, obviously, about Bucha. What's really cool is, look at this. I mean, just a few days after the Russians were, well, chased out of this part of the city, north of Kyiv, the cleanup has begun. Life is, they want to try to get life back to normal as best as possible. While some swept, others like Oleg Krupnivsky used bigger tools like this John Deere excavator to move debris. People have to start rebuilding at some point. They need to live somewhere. They are left without homes, without apartments, so people are working. People are trying to live. In nearby Erpin, Ludmila Veronina is overcome with grief, but knows she has to start somewhere. This house is already 70 years old. We can't leave it without repairing it. About three hours north, volunteers from across Ukraine have come to Yahini to help the village get back on its feet. Most of the 400 residents here spent a month in the school's basement during the initial Russian attack. Now volunteers like Kyiv resident Denise Oravchenko are helping villagers rebuild as quickly as possible. People have grief and while our soldiers in the east are protecting us, we work here. As war enters its fifth month, residents from Yahini to Erpin to Bucha are not sitting around waiting for fighting to stop. Ukraine's president says the monumental effort to rebuild his nation is underway, but will take time and a huge commitment from the international community. It is not only about what we should do after our victory or in the following years, but also what we need to do right now. And even though fighting still rages in the east, the sounds of construction elsewhere serve as a sign of defiance and hope. George Thomas, CBN News, Kyiv, Ukraine.